means that it's almost action time. Every hair on my body stands at attention now. Because I ah, see. All right. So you may recognize our stunt liner and piston fist from our displacement video. And in case you didn't see that one, we'll put a link to it at the end of this one. But at any rate, we did that video, and then I realized by reading the comments, not only on the video itself, you know, on, on our channel, but also like in a message board or two that it popped up. And it, there's a lot of misconception as to what actually happens during the power stroke of an engine, beginning at the instant that the spark plug lights. So, okay, we're going to talk, we have to talk in gross generalities here. The first things first, every measurement we give is going to be in degrees. So we're going to say, you know, 45 degrees, and that's in crankshaft degrees. How many, how many, how many degrees of rotation or the crankshaft to accomplish this distance on the piston? And also we're talking about strictly gasoline, normally aspirated, four-stroke internal combustion engine. We're not talking about two-strokes. We're not talking about diesels. We're not talking about supercharged, turbocharged. We're not talking about uh, 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 alcohol nitromethane, none of those things. We're talking about nitrous oxide. We're talking about strictly like the, the Briggs & Stratton lawnmower that you have, the, the daily driver, your street and strip car, right? Normally aspirated gasoline burning four cycle internal combustion engine. So, what happens when we light this thing off? Um, let's, start with, let's start with the basics. So, we always start the fire. We always fire the plug before the piston gets to top dead center. And the reason for that is because that flame front requires some time to cover the real estate of the cylinder, uh, the piston head. The, the smaller the bore, the later you can light the mixture. So let's say a three and a half inch bore engine will want it, will want the spark plug lit 20 degrees before top dead center where let's say a four and a half inch bore engine wants it 36 degrees. And that's strictly a matter of how long it takes for the flame from that starts at the spark plug to work its way across the top of the chamber. Ideally, you want complete saturation by top dead center, or actually the dwell time, the dwell period. All right. So the real action happens immediately following that. So we've lit, we've lit the spark plug, the piston's on its way up, flame front is spreading across. Piston is stationary for a couple of crankshaft degrees. That's your dwell period. And at that point, you've got maximum pressure. The piston now begins to work its way down and the flame front is expanding. The pressure, you're gonna see your highest cylinder pressure right here because the piston is moving the slowest, which means that the, the, the chamber, the area is the smallest, so the pressure is the highest. And also, the charge has, uh, there's still, the maximum amount of fuel in the charge at that point. So from top dead center to approximately 45 degrees past top dead center is the first phase of the power stroke. Now the power stroke is broken into three separate phases and we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. But this period right here from top dead center to approximately 45 degrees past is when maximum cylinder pressure occurs and probably 75% of the work that cylinder is going to perform is, is, is right here. Once you get past that, that zone, you get into what's called the expansion zone. So now the pressure pulse has maxed out. The piston's gotten its greatest shove downward. But there's still combustion taking place. There's still expansion. There's still pressure. And so the piston is being driven the next 90 degrees or so by that expansion. Uh, there's less force on the head of the piston, but happy coincidence, the piston is also seeing its greatest leverage, or the rod is seeing its greatest leverage on the crankshaft, because this is where you're achieving maximum angularity. So from approximately 45 degrees past top dead center to approximately 45 degrees before bottom dead center, your expansion zone is where maximum leverage is, is taking place. But now pressure is really starting to fall off drastically because that piston is accelerating quicker and quicker as it gets to the midway point. Once we're past that, you get into what's called the blowdown phase. The exhaust valve begins to open. Now on a, on a high output, high RPM engine, you open the exhaust valve even sooner. You'll open it 55, 60 degrees before bottom dead center. 
uh, but typical street engine, it's approximately 45 degrees, or the bottom, the bottom quarter of the stroke. And what you're, doing, what you're doing there is, because everything is still expanding, but not really producing any work, you're using that expansion to blow into the exhaust and start shoving things out the pipe before the piston actually reaches bottom dead center and begins its way up on the exhaust stroke. That blow down phase is where you're actually hearing the noise. When, when the, 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 the exhaust sound is, is the valve opening into an active combustion process. That's why nitro cars are so loud, because there's so much more active combustion at the bottom of the stroke that when it opens the exhaust valve, it's pow! But anyway, that's where your noise comes from. And then, again, you know, piston goes up and exhaust cycle begins, ends, and then overlap in the intake cycle. But we're going to do all of those in another video. I just wanted to, you know, go over this because like I said, there's a lot of misconception as to what happens where in the course of that power stroke. So I hope you got something out of that. I'll see you tomorrow.